warm welcome to all to my channel world of zoology we'll consider third point of the unit biosa diversity that is part 3 in this lecture we'll consider biodiversity hotspots this before going into the detail we'll consider the distribution of biodiversity flora and fauna diversity that depends upon the climate altitude soil presence of other species and most of the biodiversity which is concentrated in tropical region compared with the south and north pole flora means flowering plants and fauna that is nothing but the animals biodiversity hotspots the concept behind this biodiversity hotspots that is one region with high biodiversity with most of the species being endemic here endemic means the species which are present on uh, only in that particular region geographical part and these species are not found elsewhere in the world india have two biodiversity hotspots which are considered here in our today's lecture east himalayan region and western ghat five kingdoms of the living things that is first one kingdom animalia then plantae then fungi protista and monera and in distribution that is approximate number of known species animalia kingdom contain highest number of animals that is shown in this diagram and monera with the lowest number by Bio, the biodiversity hotspots are shown in this second diagram that is distribution of biodiversity hotspots all over the world and now we'll consider only the two points which are included in our syllabus that is western ghat and indo burma hotspot the term hotspot was first coined by sabina burek in 1988 the concept of hotspot was first described by british ecologist that is norman mayers in 1988 and criteria for designating the area as a hotspots are as follows first criteria that is richness in endemic species here endemism it means the area designated as hotspot has its own native species of flora and fauna which are not found elsewhere in the world for example and hotspots must have at least 0.5% or 1500 plants as endemics as the world have 3 lakh total plant species every hotspot is essentially having a deep threat due to human activities that is due to anthropogenic factors biodiversity hotspots 35 major biodiversity hotspots are defined all over the world together that represents 2.3% of the total land area of the mother earth they contain 44% of the plant species and 42% of all terrestrial vertebrate species all over the world they include 75% of the earth most threatened animals birds and amphibians among biologically rich nations india stands in top 10 countries india has 350 species of mammals 1200 species of birds 4053 species of reptiles 50 50000 species of insects including 13000 species of butterflies only and 45000 different species of plants identified biodiversity hotspots collectively include only 2.3% of the earth land surface even then they hold about 42% of all terrestrial vertebrate species and also provide home to 75% of earth's 
most threatened mammals, birds and amphibians. Here the list of the biodiversity hotspot in the world is given starting from the Atlantic forest up to last one that is Western Ghat and Sri Lanka. It can be seen from the figure 2.4 that two hotspots from India, namely the Himalaya and Western Ghats, have been included among 35 hotspots of the world. Besides the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which are extremely rich in species and many subspecies of animals, they have 2,200 species of flowering plants and 120 species of ferns. Amongst biologically rich nations, India stands in the top 10 and 15 countries for its great variety of plants and animals. India has 350 species of mammals, 1200 species of birds and butterflies, 13,000. Apart from the high biodiversity of India, wild plant animals, there is a great diversity of cultivated crops and breeds of domesticated animals. Apart from that, India also have very great diversity of the cultivated crops and breeds of the domestic animals. Say so for example, there are almost 30 to 50,000 varieties of rice, cereals, vegetables and fruits. There are 27 breeds of indigenous cattle. 40 breeds of sheep, 22 breeds of goats and 8 buffaloes. Indian Gin Bank have so far collected seeds of almost 34,000 cereals and 22,000 pulses. Then we will consider the next slide that is regarding biodiversity in the India with respect to flora and fauna, first we will consider flora, that is angiosperms, they constitute 17,800 species, gymnosperm 70, pteridophytes 1,200, bryophytes 2,584, lichens over 2,000 species, then fungi 14,500, then algae 2500, bacteria 850. Now we will consider the fauna, bio, bio, biodiversity of fauna in India. Insect 50,000 species, invertebrate 6,500, fish species are 2,000, then bird species 1,200. Reptiles 420, amphibians 140, and mammals uh, 340 species. As far as the biogeographic zones of India are considered, we'll, the diagram shows that Andaman Nicobar Islands and the Trans Himalaya, West Himalaya, then Indian deserts, semi arid zone, or Western Ghat. Then Gangetic Plains, then East Himalaya, Northeast India, Deccan Peninsula, Deccan Peninsula. All these are biogeographic zones of the India, which are also shown in this diagram. Once that is Trans Himalaya, then Second Himalaya, Third Desert, then fourth one is the semi arid region, fifth one that is Western Ghat, sixth one Deccan Peninsula. Then seventh one, Gangetic Plains. Eight that is coast. Ninth one is the Northeast Himalaya, and tenth one that is Andamar, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The three biodiversity hotspots in the India that is one is Western Ghat and Sri Lanka. Second is the Himalayas, which is newly added, and third one that is Indo Burma, which is known as earlier as a Eastern Himalayas. We will consider first and third that is Western Ghat and Indo Burma hotspots from India. Biodiversity rich areas in India that is hotspots. Himalaya 
contain total number of species 8500 and amongst which the 400 species are endemic from western ghat 4500 total number of species 2000 species are endemic species from northeast india from uh, 4000 species 1500 1, species are endemic species and andaman and nicobar islands from 2500 species 250 species are endemic that is species restricted to that particular region and not found elsewhere biodiversity in india as far as the flora and fauna is considered angiosperm from the total number of angiosperm found in india 17800 gymnosperm 70 species pteridophytes 1200 bryophytes 2584 species lichens 2000 species fungi 14500 species algae 2500 species bacteria 850 species as far as the fauna are considered in uh, the insecta that is the largest group of the uh, arthropoda phylum insecta is the class of the phylum arthropoda and that constitute 50000 species invertebrates 6500 species fish species approximately 2000 2, species then birds 1219 species then Reptile species are 4, 495, amphibians 207, and from the mammal, mammalia group, that is class mammalia of the phylum called data, 386 species are observed in um, India. The next one that is animal diversity in India, number of Indian species. Then the percentage of Indian species evaluated and out of that species threatened in India. First we will consider mammals that is number of Indian species 386. Then evaluated species of the species from that 59 and species threatened in India from that 41%. Then regarding the birds. 1219 species which are um, listed uh, that is number of uh, Indian species then number of Indian species evaluated zero species threatened in India seven percent from the reptiles that is class reptilia of the phylum called data 4, 000, uh, sorry 495 species that is number of species percentage of Indian species which is evaluated 73 and 46 percent of the species from that are threatened in India. From the amphibia that is amphibians amphibia class of the phylum called data 207 species that is number of species Indian species identified then species if a percentage of Indian species evaluated 79 and species threatened in India of the amphibia class 57 percent. Regarding freshwater fish, 70, uh, sorry, 700 number of Indian species, then percentage of Indian species evaluated 46, and as far as the threatened species considered is 70 percent. Now, regarding the type of uh, vegetation. In western ghats, scrub jungles and grasslands at low altitudes, dry and moist deciduous forest, grasslands and sholas, then tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest in western ghat, that is Sayadri Hills, which is also known as western ghats, are also known as Sayadri Hills. The western ghats are one of the world's biodiversity hotspots with over 5,000 flowering plants, 139 mammals, and 508 bird species, 179 amphibian species. At least 325 globally threatened species occur here. 
the range covers 60000 kilometer square and form the catchment area for complex of the river systems that drain almost 40% of india the western ghats also known as sayadri is the mountain range that covers an area of 140000 square kilometers in the stretch of 1600 kilometers parallel to the western coast of the indian peninsula it passes through the states of the tamil nadu kerala karnataka goa and maharashtra that is through the through these states five states it is a unesco world heritage site and is one of the eight hotspots of biological diversity in the world it is sometimes called as the great escarpment of the india according to unesco the western ghat are older than himalayas it contains large proportion of the country's flora and fauna many of which are found only in india and no um, nowhere else in the world that is they are endemic complex topography high rainfall and relatively inaccessibility of the regions is the reason to retain the rich biodiversity in this area 4780 species of flowering plants out of 15000 species in india are observed in this western ghat or the sayadri hilly region diversity of the traditional crop plants and animal life is also abundant endemic species of the amphibian freshwater fishes then invertebrate groups is also observed the vegetation type in the western ghat that includes as per the altitude moist evergreen from 200 to 1500 meters moist deciduous forest from 500 to 900 meters dry deciduous from 300 to 900 meters scrub jungles from 200 to 500 meters sholas from above 1500 meters and savannas from 1700 to 1900 meters at high altitude or plateaus indo burma that is eastern himalaya which is shown in this slide the previous name of the indo burma is eastern himalaya tropical asia east of the gangas brahmaputra lowlands excluding the malaysian region that covers total area of 23,73,000 square meters. Apart from that, India also have very great diversity of cultivated crops and breeds of domestic animals. There are almost 30,000 to 50,000 varieties of rice, cereals and vegetables as well as fruits. There are 27 breeds of indigenous cattle, 40 breeds of the sheep and 22 of the goats and 8 buffalo species. Indian gin banks have so far collected seeds of almost 34,000 cereals and 22,000 pulses. Thus, we have finished the two biodiversity hotspots from India, that is one Sayadri Hills or Western Ghats and second one Indo Burma region. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like video, do like. Share the video for the benefit of the maximum students and subscribe my channel World of Zoology.